and blessings, beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I hope all is well. So I, I wanted to come on um, and share this story. Uh, I feel like the Lord really impressed on my heart to share it. So I want to share it um, before I get going throughout the week and forget. So I'm going to share it. So I just went, came back from vacation and um, man, good time, able to relax um, and just God has been so good throughout it. And so um, my my flight um, left on Saturday to come back home. And man, literally so many delays. Like I didn't get back until Sunday because weather issues, flights being canceled, just all the things that could go wrong went wrong on 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 uh, my way back home. And so I know God was trying to do some things. So um, flight got delayed. Um, just tell you the story. Flight got delayed on Saturday. Um, um, had had some things happen before I even left um, and was able to really um, meet up with 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 some family because of the things that happened um, and it's crazy because in that moment um, some things happened and um, I won't go into it but the things happened um, man at the moment you know I felt hurt and upset but um, was able to connect with family and man it was just a beautiful moment God was able to man just do great things through through my family through my cousin um and just it, it was just beautiful man it, it kind of made up for everything that happened earlier in the day and so boom it had had lunch with my cousin and and uh, my little cousins and my older cousin and it was just amazing we got to talk about god we got to fellowship we got to love on one another we got to share stories we got to pray for one another man it was just amazing um drop me off at the airport and then get to the airport and then our flight it, weather is bad and so then our flight is canceled then it's pushed back then it's delayed we had a connecting flight from orlando to um charlotte and so we would have missed the connecting flight um, so I had to stay a, a night. It, it was cool because God made a way where um, hotel was paid for, was able to get uh, food um, and, and so taken care of. So everything was taken care of um, and worked out. And so the next day, um, I, I get another flight. Instead of going to Charlotte, we were able to go to Houston and then come from Houston um, into to San Antonio. And so um, as... I'm, I'm in the airport, um, and so get situated. I come to, um, I, I'm thirsty. I'm like, I got to get some water. So I get some water. I see this woman. She has her, she has her water and her soda in her hand. And so I'm, I'm going straight in. I'm, I'm on a mission. And she says, Hey, excuse me. Um, I have only, I mean, I'm not sharing this to, to make me see something, be something, but I just want you guys to hear my heart um, and what the Lord wanted me to share. And so she's like, can you, I only, I only had $16, I mean, I want to be able to get some food if, if it's okay, if you can um, um, buy me uh, this, this, this drink of water and soda. And I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. So I go and grab my, my drink. And so in a way I kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of was like, okay, here we go. And so she's telling me her story and I'm like, okay. Um, uh, well, not her story. She's just telling me, you know, um, what was going on and how she got a voucher and she's, all these things that were happening. And I, f I felt Holy Spirit telling me to tell her, um, uh, cause she said she wanted food. Did she want anything else in the store? And I'm like, Okay, I said, was there anything else in the store you wanted? And so she goes, yeah, some crackers maybe to eat on a plane. I said, okay. Um, she goes in and grabs the crackers. As she grabs the crackers, she start exploring everything else in the store. So she start grabbing other stuff. And at this point, I'm like, bruh, you said crackers. Like, what? you getting candy? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? And so she kind of looked at me and she could see the look on my face like, oh, I shouldn't get these candies. I'm going to put them back. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, man, this is some, like, bruh. Ugh. And it wasn't as if I didn't have it. My prayer always is, Lord, help me to be a blessing 
to other people. And so um, I want to backtrack. What's crazy is earlier that morning, I put a status on Facebook. I really felt it in my heart. And the status went something to the point of um, when uh, sometimes God will lead, when you're, you, you're having a situation with someone, God will lead you to do something that's, you know, maybe uncomfortable or you flat out don't want to do. Um, but sometimes you just, you got to be obedient um, to the leading and guiding of Holy Spirit because he is working all things together for your good. And so in that moment, it was like, I wrote that and this is happening um, where I needed to be obedient to the leading and guiding of Holy Spirit because all these things happen for, I don't want to say for this moment, but for moments. And so this moment was a part of everything that happened. And so I'm thinking in my mind, like, you know, I'm not even going to say anything because I, I, I felt some type of way. I'm like, dog, am I being taken advantage of this, this and that? You said crackers, you going in here. And the Lord's like, go get the candy, pick, get the candy back. And I'm like, okay, Lord. All right. And so then I began to talk to her like, you know, hey, where, where are you headed to? And she began to tell me, you know, immigration things. She's trying to get things situated. And I'm like, man, this is an opportunity for me. Um, this is an opportunity. I asked God to use me to be a blessing. And even in this small thing, this can be a blessing and she can get to see the love of God. And so we went to the counter and she was just, thank you, thank you. And she told the lady, she's about, I'm, I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. And I grabbed the candy and I, I, I got the candy and um, I asked her, could I, you know, pray with her and, you know, about the immigration things and she allowed me to. And, um, and so that ended. And as it ended, as I'm going back, Holy Spirit really impressed on my heart on the, her faith that this is the type of faith that we need to have that she had before I even got in line or before I even walked up. She was in line with the water and the Sprite believing that it was going to be taken care of, believing that it was going to come to her. Not even I don't know if she was a believer. I don't know if she believed in God, but she had enough faith to say, I'm going to grab this, even though I don't know how it's going to happen or if it's going to be paid for, if I have to put it back. But I'm willing to step out here in faith and stand here in line. And, and so he impressed that on me. And then another thing, the biggest thing was when she went in the store um, and, and the Lord really said to me, you know, I want you to experience everything and not just to go in there and to get one thing. I asked her. Is there anything else you wanted in the store? And she didn't just grab one thing. She grabbed a couple of things. She got the things that she wanted. And sometimes when we're going to God, and I'm not just talking about financial things. I'm not talking about house car. I'm talking about spiritual things. I'm talking about sometimes we just go and we're, God, you know, if you can just get me through this situation. When God wants us to experience everything that he has this woman was willing to go in she like i don't care you just want to tell me no because i'm i'm you said i can have okay i'm gonna grab it and in my mind i'm like oh she's trying to take it no and i know we it just got me to thinking so many times we think why well, I, I shouldn't be i don't feel worthy enough to ask god for all that i don't feel like i should i'm taking advantage of god you're we are not take out and i'm talking about me we are not taking advantage of god we never could he has given us things freely. He is a good father and he wants us to experience everything concerning him. And so, man, this woman, although it seemed like I blessed her, she blessed me more than I blessed her because I see in my walk with God how he wants me to experience everything that he has. God has a kingdom and he wants us to experience it here on earth. We're not no longer waiting until we die, but we should be experiencing it right here we should be experiencing miracles signs and wonders laying hands and people being healed um uh, uh man we everything concerning god healing breakthrough deliverance understanding revelation knowledge god wants us to have not just like like the lady said i'm, I'm just gonna grab some crackers he don't want us to just get the crackers. He wants us to have everything that's accessible to us. When that woman went in that store, 
everything was accessible to her. She could have grabbed whatever could fit in her arms. And I had to make the decision of, and the Holy Spirit got to grab that. And really tugged on my heart to, to, to walk in love and not to do things begrudgingly, but doing it with a, a open heart. Why? Because he called us to be a blessing. And so I was able to share the gospel. I was able to tell her that Jesus loved her, that this was a Jesus moment. This wasn't about me. This was a Jesus moment. This was him showing up on your behalf. Um that we met at the at, at the right time. It was the right time I, I, I walked up. It was the right time. It was a set time. It was a set time that she grabbed the drinks and stood in line. And she didn't go to anybody else. She came directly to me. And so no matter if her heart wasn't right or if my heart, God was moving in that moment. And so I came on to share this story, not to boast about me. It has nothing to do with me. It was all, that was a Jesus moment. But it was more so spiritually than it was physically that we we have to step out in faith and believe God for things that we haven't even seen. We have to be willing to take the things and hold it tightly and be willing to stand in line or stand up or when we don't know if, if this is going to be cared for. If this is we got to walk by faith and not by sight. We cannot be moved by what we see or what we think. We have to know that we know that we know that God is going to provide all of our needs according to his riches and glory. That he will never leave us nor forsake us. That he will provide for you. That he will. He, man, he provided for that woman in that moment. I was just the vessel. But he did it. He orchestrated it. The timing. I didn't know this woman. I didn't know if she would be there. I didn't, I had no intentions of buying nobody nothing. I was going to get my water. I was thirsty and this woman showed up. And so know that you can walk in faith and believe that God will provide it and he'll show up at the right time. Literally at the right time when it was time to pay, he sent me. And so let's have faith. Let's begin to believe God for things that just seem impossible, things that are just crazy impossible. And I'm not talking about houses and cars. Yes, God wants to bless us with house and cars, but God wants to give us, give us knowledge. He wants to give us revelation of the kingdom. He wants to give us understanding. He wants us to grow in the knowledge and wisdom of him. And so let's not just go in and get some things. Let's get everything that God has available. I want it all. I don't just want, I, I'm, I'm believing God for a future husband. I don't just want the husband. I, I, I want to, I want to reach the people that you've called me to reach. I want to get revelation, knowledge, and understanding. I want to spread the gospel. My gospel. I want to stand up for your, for your kingdom. I want to walk in watch righteousness. I want to dominate. I want to dominate as you told me. I want to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. I want to spread the gospel. I want to be a living vessel for you. I want to be a reflection of the kingdom here on earth. I want to look like you. I want to talk like you. I want, pe I want people to see me and see you shining in and through me. I don't want to just speak about you. I want, I want to live a life full of God and full of Holy Spirit, which is God. So full of God. And I want people when they see me, they see him. And so let's live a life without fear. Uh, let's live a life of faith. Let's live a life of just stepping out in the unknown when we don't know what's going to happen. Man, that woman blessed me. And I hope this story blesses you to see that we, man, God is looking to do some miraculous things. Although that was a small thing, it was a miraculous thing in that moment. And so God, I thank you. I thank you for the things that you're looking to do for your people, that you're looking to do for me, that you're looking for, to do for all the people who are subscribed to my channel, who are watching. God, I know those who aren't subscribed, those who may just watch this video in the future, the things that you want to do in and through them, uh, the faith. And maybe this is a video for somebody who's been struggling with faith to believe God to provide it. Listen, the little things he provide, man. He said in the scripture, if if a son asks for bread, would he give him a, a serpent? Like God being God, or you being evil, know how to get good gifts. How much more your heavenly Father? God knows what He needs, what we need, and He knows how to give it at the time we need it. And so, be encouraged. Know that God will provide. Step out in faith. Believe Him to do it. And guess what? 
He going to show up and do it. So be blessed, people of God. I love you. Most importantly, Jesus Christ love you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.